Welcome back to The Daily Hero, where we keep you up to date on all your comic book, movie, TV, video game, nerdy news, and all the fun stuff in between, right here on The Hero Network. Hasbro added a ton of figures to their Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary Black Series and Vintage Collection Star Wars lineups, including original Kenner, Deacon Ben, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Green Doe, and Jabba figures. However, this being the first Fan First Friday of 2021, Hasbro has made Star Wars collectibles to share, like new 3.75-inch The Vintage Collection figure of Darth Maul and Ashko Tano from The Clone Wars with their Mandalore looks and a Black Series figure of the Elite Squad Trooper from the upcoming Star Wars The Bad Batch Animated Series. Darth Maul Vintage Collection figure features the Mandalore Crime Lord as he appeared in the final episode of The Clone Wars. The Ashka Tana figure is also based on the character as she appeared in the final, so you can recreate this epic Darth Maul vs. Ashka Tano battle. The Elite Squad Trooper is a 6-inch Black Series figure that's based on the upcoming Star Wars The Bad Batch animated series that's headed to Disney Plus at some point in 2021. They are also described as a small group of highly skilled enlisted recruiters that are tasked with neutralizing anti-imperial insurgents throughout the galaxy. Black Clover manga, so spoilers ahead if you don't read, has debuted into the Spade Kingdom Dark Triad's terrifying full powers form. The Spade Kingdom saga has reached its intense new phase as the fight has been taken directly to the Dark Triad as they prepare to open the gates of the Underworld and Asta and the other fighters had enough trouble dealing with the Dark Triad's 70-80% to 80 usage of their representative devil powers. But with the previous cliffhanger of the series teasing that the advent of Qualith Ritual has been sped up to the point where the first level of the Underworld has opened, the fight is only getting started. The newest chapter of the series confirmed that the gates of the Underworld have indeed begun opening, and it's revealed what it truly means. While Dante, Zeon, and Vanaka had been limited to the use of their devil powers before with the gates being closed, chapter 280 of the series has essentially removed all of those limits as each of them have reached 100% of their full devil power. This result in some terrifying new looks for each one. Not only do Nat and the others have to deal with the escaping demons, but the Dark Triad is scarier and stronger than ever as well. With their full powers now unleashed, the series is definitely stacking the deck against Asta and the others moving forward. As Asta has yet to enter the fight, however, there's still a chance of victory despite the odds. In episode 3 of Batwoman, we finally get the show set up to be about Ryan. We meet one of the villains named Victor Zaz. We also get a glimpse of a few other potential villains for Ryan that might come up in future episodes. Since Kate is gone, Mary took over the bar, and Ryan works there, which makes sense since Ryan is Batwoman now, so she's going to replace Kate in all her roles that she had in Season 1. Alice and Sophie wake up on Sophia's island, which might as well be Leanne Liu from Arrow. Sophia tells Alice that she didn't blow up Kate's plane, so now there might be another new bad guy that we don't know about. Ryan as Batwoman goes against Zaz, and Zaz knows that she isn't the original Batwoman. Saz is killing people who have the Desert Rose in their blood, which is connected to Sophia, meaning Mary is a target. Even though Kate is gone, the show is still making their characters somehow connected to each other as if Kate was still there. We see the new Batwoman suit, and Sophia tells Alice Kate is alive and she has her, which Ruby Rose isn't coming back, so I don't know why this show they're making it seem as if Kate was dead and now Kate is alive when that actress is never coming back unless they recast her. But if they wanted to recast Kate Kane, then in season 2 we wouldn't have had Ryan. We would have had Kate Kane just with a different face. That's all I got for you for today. Please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and share so we can give you more nerdy goodness. I'm Shell at Shell Post and for The Daily Hero on The Hero Network. Please follow us on all social media at Hero Network TV. Also, send fan questions to HeroNetworkTV at gmail.com.